The cockroach vendor, also known as Jeremiah Payson, is a forsaken vendor located under the bridges of the bank in the center of Undercity. In Vanilla WoW, he was one of the few ways to get an easily obtainable non-combat pet, as all he sold were cockroaches. But this random vendor selling a weird thing actually has a bit of lore associated to him, and was involved in a quest chain that was removed in Cataclysm. The quest starts off with the ghost Janus Fellstone in the Western Plaguelands. When you talk to her, she'll ramble on about a package that needs to be delivered. Then, once you find the package, the quest splits off. There is an Alliance and Horde version of this quest, and I'll be talking about the Horde version for this video, but we will go back to the Alliance part in a bit, as it relates to the rest of the story. Anyways, you wipe off some of the dust of the package and find out it's addressed to someone named Jeremiah Fellstone of Lordaeron. So you take the package back to Undercity to see if the census can help you find out who the package is for. Upon talking to the census keeper, he'll say, A package for Jeremiah Fellstone, with his last known address as Lordaeron? I should be able to assist you. Jeremiah Fellstone was in the city before the plague. Well, I should say, the former Jeremiah Fellstone. Some of the Forsaken have changed their last names to rid themselves of their former counterants. This case is no exception. The former Jeremiah Fellstone is now known as Jeremiah Payson. Wait a minute, isn't he the cockroach vendor? He will then tell you where to find the cockroach vendor in Undercity. Then, once you get to Jeremiah and try to give him the package, he'll tell you, I haven't used that name in years, but yes, at one point in my life, before this glorious unlife, that was my last name. You claim to have known my sister, or rather, have recently spoken to my sister, who's been dead for four years. You know, if my bones weren't already brittle enough, I'd be tempted to break my foot off in your posterior. You're quite the vulture, aren't you? What? You have a package for me from my sister? It would seem that I was wrong about you, and for that I owe you an apology. My sister sent me a number of personal effects, including, humorously enough, the deed to the Fellstone farm. I think I'll pass on reclaiming it for now. If my sister's spirit remains tethered to the farm and cannot rest, please, could you return this to her? It is half of a good luck charm she had, with her husband having the other half. Maybe her knowing I have these things will now put her soul to rest. The next part of the quest involves going back to the Western Plaguelands and killing a ghoul to find the other half of the good luck charm that you then give to the ghost of Janus Fellstone, who will realize what happened to her and finally pass on. And that concludes the quest chain. But that's not the end of the story, because recently, more things were added. Now, let's go back to the Alliance part of this quest chain. If you're Alliance, you'll be told to give the package to Ol' Emma and Stormwind, and the quest will play out basically the same way. Ol' Emma's name is actually Emma Fellstone, and the ghost was her sister, which makes her Jeremiah Payson's sister as well, and she'll give you half of the pendant and tell you to help put her sister's soul to rest. And then in the novel Before the Storm, Anduin and Sylvanas put a meeting together for some members of the Forsaken to meet some of their living family members from Stormwind. And Ol' Emma was asked if she wanted to meet her three Forsaken sons who were part of the Desolate Council. This would mean that Jeremiah was living in Undercity with his three nephews the whole time, as they were introduced for the book and never mentioned in game or lore prior. But then the events of the book took place. During the meeting, some of the Forsaken tried to defect to live with their living family members, and Sylvanas ordered the death of all the Forsaken present at the meeting. Emma Fellstone had to watch as her three Forsaken sons, who she finally got to see after thinking they were dead for so many years, killed in front of her. The Alliance ended up holding funerals for all the Forsaken killed at this meeting, and there are named headstones in the Arathi Highlands today for all three of the Fellstone boys killed that day. And as for Jeremiah, he was evacuated safely during the battle for Lordaeron, and now hangs out on top of the gate in Orgrimmar, along with all the other vendors who managed to escape, and still just sells his cockroaches to whoever wants them.